So the last type of compound that we need to learn how to name are acids. And so we're going to do that right now. To start with, what is an acid? All right, an acid is a molecular compound that thinks it's ionic. Okay, uh, what does that mean? Well, that means it's molecular, which means it doesn't contain any metals. And truly, it's not really made of ions either, but it does behave in an ionic fashion, okay? Because it's, uh, it's behaving like ionic uh, compounds, it sort of has a cation, and the cation for all acids is always H+. Remember that cations are written first, so in an acid's formula, the first letter you're going to see is an H for hydrogen. That's the H+. Plus. That's what makes an acid an acid, is the presence of this H plus cation. Any other anion can be used to make an acid. Okay, And the name of the acid is based on the name of the anion in it. Since they all contain the same cation, it's the anions that, that, that are different, and so that's what we're going to get the name from. So how we do this? Uh, is as follows. We take the name of the anion and we look at the ending of it. So if the ending of the anion, the negative ion, ends in ATE, you drop that and put IC and then the word acid. If the anion ends in ITE, you drop the ITE, you put OUS and use the word acid. Those two should be familiar because we've used those endings before in old names. Finally, if the ion ends in IDE, you drop that IDE, you put a prefix, hydro, and then you put the IC ending, and then put the word acid, okay? So it's very simple. Just look at the ending of the anion's name, change it as necessary, and put the word acid at the end. Okay, here's an example. This is the acid that we want to name, HClO3, okay? So you take away the cation, the H+. What does that leave us with? That leaves us with ClO3 minus. ClO3 minus is chlorate. That's on your sheet. It's polyatomic. Chlorate ends in 8, A-T-E. Drop the A-T-E, add I-C and the word acid. So this is called chloric acid. Okay? Here's another one. H2SO3. Take away the cations, both of them, H pluses. That leaves SO3 minus 2. That's a polyatomic ion. It's called sulfite. It ends in ITE. Drop the ITE, put OUS, and put the word acid. Now, sulfur always causes problems. Sulfur and phosphorus always cause problems. It's not sulfous acid, even though it should be. It's actually sulfurous acid. The UR comes back sometimes. Sulfur and phosphorus do that. The other ones don't. Here's a third example. The acid is HBr. Take away the cation, H+. Plus. That leaves Br-. minus. That's not polyatomic. There's only one atom there. Br is from bromine, which means it's bromide, I-D-E ending. Drop the I-D-E. Put the prefix hydro in front. Put the I-C ending at the end, and then add the word acid, hydrobromic acid. Okay? So it's all about the name of the anion. If you want to write the formula for an acid from its name, you reverse the ending process to figure out which anion you're working with. The cation is always H+, and you write the formula as if it were an ionic compound. You either crisscross or do the matching the number of ions, matching the charge. Okay? So for example, nitrous acid. Nitrous acid is what we want to write. So first we have to figure out the anion. Well, the acid name ends in OUS. That means the anion ends in ITE. So the anion is nitrite, NO2 minus. We put that with the cation H plus. We do the crisscross method, we get HNO2. That's nitrous acid. All right, you try them. Here are three acids to name, HClO2, H3PO4, and HCl. Stop the video, see if you can name them. Ready? All right, well, let's see how you did. HClO2 is called hypochlorous acid because the ClO2 minus ion is the hypochlorite ion. H3PO4 is called phosphoric acid. Now, phosphic is what you might have, and that's okay, but remember, phosphorus and sulfur, sometimes those letters come back. This is an example, phosphoric acid. And HCl is called hydrochloric acid because the anion is chloride. It's pretty simple. Take some practice. You've got to learn those rules.
but it doesn't take very much work. Good luck.